What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everyone that's tuning, that's tuning in. I want to talk about Aaron Hernandez's former fiance, Shayana Jenkins, who has uh, reportedly been taking the money that was designated for her daughter, a trust that was put up for her daughter. She was taking hundreds of thousands of dollars from that fund and they found out about it and the lawyer of it uh, he wants to go through the books they want to go through the books and they're trying to figure out uh why is she spending this money now the, the crazy thing is is that she's getting his pension i think he's getting over a hundred thousand dollar i think a year pension plus i think social security as well but that wasn't enough for her she had to dip into her daughter's trust and she's spending hundreds. That's what they said. Hundreds of thousands of dollars of that money that was set aside for her daughter. She thinks it's a good thing to take that money and spend it on herself to go on shopping sprees and, and just, you know, live lavishly off money. That's not even hers. See, this is what a lot of these, well, I can't really say she's a single mother. I believe she went and got remarried. At least reportedly she got into a new relationship. I don't know if she married that particular guy. I heard that uh, they had was engaged or married. I don't know. Maybe y'all know. But she had gotten into another relationship with another guy while Aaron, right, I think it was right after Ann Hernandez uh, died. And instead of her moving on and finding another way to make money i believe she was spending her daughter's trust money on her own lifestyle with this particular guy that's what these women do that's why they, you can't trust them and i know people are gonna say well jane why don't you say you can't trust them well first off she was with aaron hernandez <laughs> secondly you know that money wasn't for you you were already getting his pension but that wasn't enough for you you had to go take your daughter's money so you can go and live a lavish lifestyle. This is why no one trusts women, single mothers, when they get child support. This is what they do with child support. When they get child support, they don't spend that money. On, oh, they spill very little of that money on that child. The majority of that money goes to them because they got to be taken care of. They got to look good. They got to have designer purses and you know, designer outfits so they can look good for the gram. All with money that she's taking from her daughter's trust. So let's get into this article from Yahoo News. It says it's been nearly six years since Aaron Hernandez lost his life at the Souza Baranowski Correctional Facility in Shirley, Massachusetts, where he was serving a life a sentence. According to court documents reviewed by Boston, uh, uh, viewed by Boston uh, 25 Hernandez former fiance Shayana Jenkins Hernandez has received over 832,000 to care for the couple's now 10 year old daughter AV is it AVL AVL since his death uh, AVL's conservator Jenkins Hernandez receives checks from Hernandez NFL pension and social security amounted to about a hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year in September. Shayana Jacobs requested ten thousand for Aviella's dance lessons from a trust set up in the 10 year old girl's name. The independent third party trustee who oversees the fund denied the request, arguing that Jenkins Hernandez should have enough money to cover the costs. In the court filing, the attorney for the trust wrote that Jenkins Hernandez has had 132000 available to her since her appointment as conservator to pay for dance lessons. In court paperwork, attorney Robert O'Regan pointed to Jenkins Hernandez spending habits and questioned if her purchases benefited AVL. In a three-year period between 2018 and 2021, she reportedly spending $10,000 in bank service charges, mostly bounce checks, according to the document. She reported spending $27,000 on clothing, 
23,000 in home goods, 18,000 in unexplained ATM withdrawals, and there was $3,700 payment made to Bay Path University in Longmeadow, Massachusetts, uh, Long Meadow, Massachusetts. AVL is not of college age. So she went and paid her own tuition. She used some money to pay for her own tuition. Reagan wrote, large amounts of money are spent with little clear identification of how these disbursements benefit AVL. Boston 25 reached out to Jenkins Hernandez for comment. Her lawyer sent a statement that reads the allegations made against my client are unfounded and I have and will continue to respond to such allegations on behalf of my client through the legal process. My client is a devoted mother doing her best to provide a stable life for her children, which is why she created the trust in question in the first place. The facts when presented in full will bear these truths out. Well, the attorney wouldn't be making these claims if they weren't true. They have they have everything documented. Did she not think that they were going to have everything documented? You don't think that these lawyers know would, would know how much is being taken out and what is being taken out for? Jiggis Hernandez has asked the judge to order the trustee to pay $10,000 for her daughter's dance lessons, and she wants a new trustee appointed to oversee the Of course she does. So she can continue to spend the money like she sees fit. Attorney O'Regan has asked that Jenkins Hernandez be removed as AVL's conservator and that special uh, conservator installed. He's requested a full accounting of Jenkins spending in 2022. My client has a fiduciary duty to AVL. It is more or less the same duty that Shayana has as conservator. It is to see to it the resource her father left behind for uh, Avio are used to support Avio, he said. Well, again, they have an accounting of what she's spending that money on. I don't think they're lying on her. I think she just got caught. I think she got caught. You got to understand something about women. Women will deny, deny, deny when they know they are lying. Why would this be brought forth if she's doing absolutely nothing wrong? She just thought that she would get away with it. She thought that she would get away with it. And because she didn't, now her attorney is denying. Of course she's going to deny it. Now, and then she wants a new she wants a new trustee who's going to allow her to spend what she wants to spend. That money is not for you, it's for your daughter. But a lot of these these western women, they don't care about their children. They just care about what they can get out of their children. Not not saying that you know, she doesn't care about her daughter. I'm sure she may care for her daughter, but taking money that is meant for your daughter for her when she grows up, that's not good. You're already getting his pension. Why do you need to go? So she's spinning up his pension and then she's going and taking money out of her daughter's trust. That's not a lot of good trust. That's a lot of bad trust. And I think that this is this is what goes on. This is what goes on with child support. A lot of these women get that money and they don't spend the majority of it on the children. That money is spent on themselves. They take that money and spend it on their boyfriends. They spend it on, you know, buying themselves, you know, outfits, you know, even going on vacations. Right. They don't really use it for their children. And the fact that she got caught doing this and she wants to deny you, you know, if they have everything documented, how are you going to deny that? <laughs> the best thing you can do is go and get you a job or go and get you, you know, find a way to make your own business. You know, women are so creative. Why not get together with other women, start some type of business together? You know, they have all these seminars and all these women empowerment focus groups and you heifers are still out here taking money from other people. Well, she claims that nothing is wrong, nothing is going on, but we'll see. I don't think that trustee is lying on her. They just, she got caught. She got caught. So let me stay in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see y'all next one.